To look at your quizzes, what you need to do is click on Course Activities, then click on Quizzes. This shows the current quizzes that you have for the class. If you're not seeing the quiz that you need to do, contact your professor and they can help you with that. Before you start your quizzes, what you want to do is look at the attempts right here. The attempts are like how much chances you have on taking the quiz. This means that your professor gives you three chances. Usually your professor only gives you one attempt, but it depends on the professor. To show you guys an example, I will do this quiz right here. What you want to do is click on it. Over here shows the quiz details, which is the current time, the user, the time allowed, the attempts, and the instructions. One thing you want to pay attention to is the time allowed. For this quiz, I'm given an unlimited amount of time, but usually your professor gives you a set amount of time, usually around 15 minutes to an hour. So make sure you pay attention to the time allowed. For an example, let me just start the quiz so you guys can see how it looks like. What you want to do is pay attention to the estimated length of time, the number of attempts that you're on right now, and also how many questions that you have. Let me just do some random answers right now. Let's see. All right. Next page. Over here is a confirmation. It says that you can't go back to your answers after you submit them. This also depends on your professor. Usually your professor wants you to go back to the questions in case you want to like change your answers before you submit the quiz. But in this quiz right here, it won't let you go back to the previous question if you submit your answer for the, your current question. After you're done answering your question right here, you want to click yes. And it moves on to the next question. Okay, just doing random answers just to give you an idea. Next page, yes. And since this is the last question, you want to submit the quiz. This is a confirmation notice. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. You have the option to go back to questions or submit your quiz. If I click back to questions, I'm able to go back to the questions and see the answers that I put for them, but I won't be able to change my answers for any of the questions, be only because of the settings of this quiz. Usually your professors would want you to go back to the questions and if you think that your first answer is wrong you can always go back and change it to a different answer but for this example right here I'm not able to do that so what I'm gonna do is click submit quiz this shows the um, submission review it says that my quiz has been submitted successfully you should also receive a receipt email on your D2L email that shows that your quiz was submitted. Over here shows the attempt score and the overall grade. So the attempt score for this quiz, I got a 1 out of 3. So I got a 33.33%. I failed, but it's okay. I was just doing random answers and my professor gave me uh, three attempts in total. So I have two more chances to do well on this quiz. I'm going to click done. This is the submission page where it shows you all your attempts and the scores that you had for each quiz. You know what? Let me go and redo this quiz because I don't like this 33.33%. I want to get like a hundred. So let's go back to quiz. So this is the quiz that I did just now. We're going to click on it again and because I have two more attempts as you can see three is allowed and I already did one so I have two more left. Let's do the quiz again. Question one. After logging on to My Lone Star, a student can access Microsoft Word by clicking the student email tile next and you want to confirm where is the app launcher 
the nine small dots located. That should be the upper left corner. Yes, upper left corner right here. Next, and you want to confirm. Last question. After clicking the app launcher, you can select Microsoft Word from the selection of student apps. That is true. And you want to submit your quiz. Are you sure you want to submit? Yes, I do. And submit quiz. Look at that. My second attempt, I got a 3 out of 3, a 100. Looks like I do know my stuff. Click done. This is the submission page again. As you can see, attempt 2 is now added on here. Uh, I got 100%. And this shows the highest attempt, which is 100%. Usually your professor, they pick the highest grade out of each attempt and put that one in the grade book. Some professors might give you the average of each of your attempts and put that in the grade book. It just depends on how the professor grades your quizzes.